Hi, I'm Ollie from Screen Time, and today I'm going to show you how to install the app on your child's device and connect it to your account. First of all, head over to the Google Play Store and download and install the Screen Time app onto your child's device. This should only take a few seconds, but it can depend on the speed of your internet connection. Once it's downloaded, press the open button and the setup will start. You should be doing this on your child's device, so press yes on the first setup screen to confirm that. You will then be asked for a QR code. This code allows you to sync the Screen Time app on the child's and parent's devices. If you don't already have your device with the QR code on it, press no on this screen. Now for this next step, you will need to grab your own device. This can be your mobile phone, your tablet or, or even a laptop or desktop PC, basically anything with a web browser and an internet connection. On your device now, open an internet browser window and type remote.screentimelabs.com into the address bar. Your Screen Time account is linked to an email address. I'm going to choose to sign in with Google, but if you don't have a Google account, don't worry because you can sign in with Facebook instead. If you do sign in with Facebook, then your Screen Time account will be linked to the email address that is registered in your Facebook account. Once you've signed into the Screen Time Remote app, the first thing that you'll be asked to do is add a child profile. So type in the name of your child and press the Add Child button below. We now have to add a device to your child's profile and there are two ways that we can do that. The simple install which will be what most users want and the device owner install. We're going to choose the simple install because device owner is only available to users with certain devices. If you do want to find more information on the device owner version of screen time then head over to our website. But for now scroll down the page until you see the QR code which is the black and white thing at the bottom it looks like a picture gone wrong. OK, it's time to grab your child's device. Press the start scanning button at the bottom of the screen which will activate the camera. You'll then need to point the camera at the QR code on your device. The camera will scan the QR code and begin downloading the companion app to your kid's device. Because we're not downloading the app from the Google Play Store, you'll need to enable unknown sources in the Android settings. Once enabled, press the back button to go back to the installation screen. After you've finished the installation of the app, you can go back into the Android settings and disable unknown sources again. Press the install button in step 3 and then press it again on the screen that pops up. You'll need to enter a secure password. This password prevents your child from uninstalling the app or changing any settings, so make sure it's not something they will guess easily. Activate Device Administrator for the Screen Time app. This means that the app can't be uninstalled without a password. If you don't have Device Admin activated, then your child can uninstall Screen Time easily through the Android settings. And you're finished. The Screen Time app is now set up on your child's device, so you can open the Screen Time app on your device and start setting up the different features.